My name is uh, Ben Sandler, and uh, my wife and I own the Queen's Kickshaw together. Basically started off uh, with us wanting to open up a, a neighborhood coffee shop. Um, there was definitely a need for that in this area. My wife and I live here in Astoria. Um, I grew up in, in Long Island City, have a, a, a major connection to this area, and we really felt strongly that we wanted to do something here where we live. And uh, so it started off with uh, coming up with uh, uh, our ideas and for, for design and for uh, you know putting together a beverage program around coffee initially. Um, actually, that's kind of the etymology of the name Kickshaw. We, we initially wanted to do it on a on an auto rickshaw. It was just going to be a mobile coffee uh, spot that, that that centered in Astoria. Uh, I have you know a great passion for food and for uh, for beer as well, and so that's how we landed on coffee, grilled cheese sandwiches, and beer. Um, we definitely anticipated the the customer experience being a little bit confusing, being that we're so many things at the same time, um, and so we really had to craft our our service model around. Um, that knowledge that we have that they don't necessarily know. So when someone walks in the door, there's like this this threshold that they, they cross over and now all of a sudden they don't know what to do. Is this a coffee shop right now? Is it a restaurant? Is it a bar? What am I supposed to do? Do I go up to the counter? Do I wait for a host? Do I seat myself? Like all these questions. And so it's our job to make people feel comfortable the second they walk in the door um, and make them feel okay with whatever it is and however it is they want to experience this place. As far as the atmosphere uh, goes uh, here at Kickshaw, I think I mean, if you ask any of our, our uh, bartenders and baristas, and actually all of our bartenders um, and baristas do, you know, the, the morning shifts and the night shifts as well, they'll all tell you that um, we have lots of different personalities throughout the day. So, you know, it, it, each, each part of the day calls for, you know, different lighting, different, you know, sound levels, different types of music, um, different vibe. Um, people, you know, just the energy of the room changes. I went to art school. And then, and this is my actually my second career. So, I still look at food as art, like a culinary art. So, um, art that doesn't have an undo button. Simply tossing a salad could be just to tossing a salad, but I try to make it a little bit more nicer so that whenever people see it or people taste it, they, they could kind of uh, feel and taste our care. We have live music. Um, this is something that was. Uh, really exciting for us to be able to do. It started off mainly with local musicians, um, and it, it still is primarily um, local Astoria musicians. There's incredible talent here in this neighborhood. And the problem is that there haven't really been that many uh, places in Queens for, for all of these Queens residents or artists to perform. And so that was a need that we felt was extremely important to uh, address uh, by having live music on Fridays. And uh, it's been an incredible success and everyone knows that we've got it and you know, we packed the house and we've got some great acts and it's been a lot of fun.